camera is synced. All right, and greetings, unsettled souls. Ghost! It is Sam I. B. De Ganji doing political commentary for the Media Speaks. Friends, I'm going to get started with the uh, dunce cap of the month, the dunce cap of the year, which only happens, obviously, once a year. And uh, a story full of idiocy before we get there. How's that? What I do want to say, though, is as I start, I have to start this way, friends. Please donate to the show. If you're listening to this and you can only give a dollar, that'd be great. The Correct Views at Hotmail.com. The Correct Views. Hotmail.com. Through PayPal. Um, Tell you what, friends, the the last few months, ever since uh, Facebook has decreased the amount of you that are seeing this, if you don't share the videos that I make, they're not going to be seen. Because the mainstream media and the people that have a lot of money in getting views are doing everything in their power to prevent us from being heard. And you know what? Uh, you know what circumvents that. You know what gets around that. You guys hitting share. You guys hitting subscribe. And like I said, if you can donate, please do because it takes a lot of time to compile all of this and do the videos. That's why I haven't done as many videos as I have in the past. It's just been a situation where I don't know how many people are seeing them, and I know a lot of people end up saying, like, I had a ride today from a friend of mine to work, and I had no idea that he watched the videos and he knew everything that was going on. So make sure you comment and let me know that you're hearing it. But, uh, all right, we're going to get into it, guys. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award Show. I have the Dunce Cap winner next, and I have the Dunce Cap of the Year, voted on by Mrs. Ricciardi. However, I had to get to this, guys. It's from the New York Post. It's the runner-up, and I am going to screen share if you're one of the lucky people watching on the Media Speaks, which is why you're going to want to subscribe there. You want to subscribe in more than one spot. You want to subscribe on Facebook. You want to follow on Facebook. You want to subscribe on the Media Speaks. You want to subscribe on the YouTube channel on the correct views. You want to stay with it because you never know where they're going to try to take us away from you. And if you can find the show from a number of different places, then you can give the one finger salute to Mark Zuckerberg, which is, of course, what he deserves. All right, guys, on New York Post, how many of you, if you're eating, you might want to log off. Teens are now getting drunk on boiled tampon juice. Now, you might wonder, unless you are a vampire... How is it that you could possibly get high on tampon tea? All right, we're going to get to it here. Um, while not as gross as you would suspect, what is actually getting people high is much more dangerous than you would expect. Uh, in theory, if you are brewing the said tampon juice, and I can't even believe we're talking about this, then technically speaking, you might boil out anything like HIV. It all depends on how long you boil it. But that's not what's getting them high. That's your hint. What's doing it? Stay tuned. Kids these days will try just about anything to catch a buzz from the boofing beer, which is putting, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like chugging beer only anally. Boofing beer to vaping vodka. Not recommended. Their latest cheap thrill, feminine hygiene products. The New York Post writes that teenagers in Indonesia, so you can't just say it's an American freak thing, often of the used variety, have been collecting menstrual pads and tampons and boiling them. That's a good idea, if you're going to partake, I guess. It allows the mixture to cool and cool, and they imbibe in the resulting liquid. Police have already arrested several minors caught making this menstrual pad moonshine. Yes, that is what it really says. Um... <laughs> Hilarious. One 14-year-old confessed that he and his buds swig it morning, afternoon, and evening. The Daily Mail reports, mmm, this sounds delicious, doesn't it? Um, the National Narcotics Agency in Indonesia says it's the chlorine. 
used to sanitize menstrual products that's getting kids tipsy, giving them hallucinations and a feeling of flying. What does that mean? Well, it means something that I don't condone, but I'm going to go with it because that's the news that we have today. Um, if you happen to be wanting to do this, in theory, you could just boil chlorine and get the same effect without having to go tampon dumpster diving, as it were. Now, <laughs> that's what I got, man. But I'll say this. I don't suggest either one, because when, whether you're getting it from Dracula's tea bag or not, you are still ingesting chlorine, and that's just not a good idea. Call it a hunch. Anyway... Um, the National Narcotics Agency in Indonesia says it's the chlorine and it's making them, uh, giving them hallucinations, feelings of flying. As it turns out, this has been going on for the last couple of years, as this phenomenon was first reported by Indonesian authorities back in 2016. I don't know who started it, said Jimmy Jinting, an advocate of safe drinking, a go figure, in Indonesia. And this is what he said to the Jakarta Post. There is no law against it so far. And there is no law against these kids mixing a mosquito repellent with cold syrup to get drunk. And they write, please, Mr. Jinting, don't give them any more ideas. All right. And you know what? That brings us to the dunce cap of the month. Now, when I'm done with this, don't go zoning out because I'm going to go ahead and be immediately going into the dunce cap of the year which was uh, chosen by, of course, one of our listeners, Miss Ricky Hardy. All right, friends, the winner is, it's from Prison Planet Video, Rand Paul, very proud of President Trump for bringing troops home. So am I giving the dunce cap of the month to Rand Paul? Um, no, no, I'm not. He's actually right. So stay with me and we're going to see who wins it. In interviews over the weekend, Senator Rand Paul, who is not winning the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, declared support for President Trump's decision to pull troops out of Syria, saying that he is very proud of Trump and supports further pullouts of the Middle East. Now let me give you a hint. Who has said this ever since the Howard Dean scream about four, 14, 12, 15 years ago? The Howard Dean scream, anybody... Remember when Hillary Clinton in the same year was having a fit about the fact that George Bush was in the Middle East? My point here is that a lot of Democrats have been complaining about our involvement in the Middle East. During the Al Gore elections, the, uh, the amount of hostility towards the United States being in the Middle East was off the charts. It was Democrats who were against it. And I personally have been won over to their side. Ron, Ron Paul was right. This was a disaster from the beginning. And that is something that Democrats and Libertarians have been saying for a long time. Okay. So where are the Democrats now? Why are the Democrats against leaving the war that they never wanted in? Could it be just because orange man bad, we are NPC, orange man bad, exterminate, annihilate, destroy. Could that be what it is? Because that's what it looks like to me. It looks like they're against this just because Trump is for it. Because this is what they've wanted forever, friends. Listen, I'm very proud of the president. That is exactly what he promised. And I think people agree with him, actually, Paul said on CNN's State of the Union. I think a lot of people believe that we've been at war for too long and in too many places and that we need to turn attention to problems we have here at home. We have a lot of uh, home here. We have a lot of problems in our country and I think people are tired of spending. You know, we spent several trillion, that is with a T, dollars on these wars elsewhere, everywhere. And I think the president promised that we'd be different. So you know what? We're pulling up. And who's having a fit about it? Who is it that's absolutely against it? Why wouldn't you know it's Nancy Pelosi? Isn't that the leader of the Democrats? Yes. The leader of the party that wanted us to pull out of the Middle East 
is now angry that President Trump is pulling us out of the Middle East. And if that makes no sense to you at all whatsoever, I'm going to screen share on uh, Media Speaks YouTube. You guys there, hello, thank you for subscribing, are going to get to see this. Those of you watching on Facebook or on the correct views on YouTube, you're going to have to go to Facebook to see this because I don't have anywhere to screen share for you or I would. Here is what it says. I'm going to go to it. Actually, I can do this for my friends here. There's a look at it. I can do that. All right, let me put the camera back up now and Here's what it says. The Dunce Cap of the Month. This Dunce Cap of the Month award goes to Nancy Pelosi and the Democrat Party for being against the wars in the Middle East ever since the Bush family got the USA involved and somehow coming out against Donald Trump as he aims to leave. Yes, I see the typo. I will fix it. So there you go, friends. Really, the party that is against war came out for it. Now, don't leave, because we got the winner of the dunce cap of the year. But let me show you. I'm sorry. Let me show you the dunce cap of the month, because you didn't get to see it. All right. So far. Now, I got a pretty good drawing, I think, here of Nancy Pelosi. Look at that. I think that's pretty impressive. And it says, uh, never pull out on Nancy. Oh, did he just say that? Yeah, I'm afraid he did. Um, I drew a hippies betrayed by Dems. Give peace a chance, man. There's my hippie that I drew. I think he looks even better than Pelosi. And then, of course, I look up my drawing of Chuck Schumer. I'm so proud here. Look at that. It says, uh, Endless War 2020. I don't think... Low Def got to see my hippie. All right, and of course it says dunce. Now this is going to be mailed along with the certificate that you saw or will see on the comment line of Facebook. And of course here is the little tiny tiny, the golden dumdy. This is also going to get mailed. Now, Miss Ricky already picked the dunce cap of the year. Out of the 12, I do one a month, out of the 12 dunce caps of the month award that I've done, she thought that this was the dumbest, so here is what the award says. I'm calling it up right now, and I'm going to show it to the Facebook viewers as soon as it calls up. All right, here we go. Right there it is, and I'm now alerting you to what it is that it says. The Golden Dundee, also known as the Dunce Cap of the Year. A plethora of really stupid people are reported on each of the correct views, but it takes a real bunch of other idiots to win, by listener vote, the Dunce Cap of the Year. But you at Northeast Prep School managed to do just that. According to Fan Choice, you are the dumbest people of the year. May this show you the true error of your ways, and may you not punish children for being non-PC, which is to say correct. Bingo! Thank you for listening, friends. Good night. God bless. Don't forget to hit share. That helps a lot. And again, don't forget to donate at the correct views at hotmail.com. You do that through PayPal, and it helps me do more frequent shows, as does hitting share which gets us around Facebook censorship. Thank you so much. And good night. Hi, Def.